We Got This Africa, proudly brought to you by Frytol. Frytol, you deserve to be well. <laughs> Girl, listen. What we is love? Some say it exists. Others say it's a fairy tale. Some say it's rare. Others say it's very easy to find. But however it is, or whatever it is, all of us must experience love at some point in our lives. Because you just must. And in an age of technology where most people pretend and all of us are just a little bit fake, how easy is it to find real love in these times? When you compare, you know, the love you've had in the past with the love that you can get nowadays, Sometimes it can be very scary and today I'm going to be talking to my friends Ashaki and Ama on We Got This Africa about love and how to find it in this age. Stay tuned. We got this. You're watching We Got This Africa and today I'm hanging out with Ashaki and Ama and we're talking about love. Charlie, hey. how are you guys doing? Cool. cool Who's cool, in love? Cool. I am. I'm, yeah, I'm in love. You are? I'm in love. Not in love yet. Not I'm, in love yet. I'm in love with my three-year-old baby. Oh. And Jesus. And Jesus, yes. Yeah. We love the Lord. Amen. 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 <laughs> but what, what is your... Let's go back a little bit. Yes. Let's, let's go back to the best love experience we've had. Let's start with you, Ama. Best love experience. like Best love experience. The one that really... Am I, like, am I, <laughs> I, I know. It might sound absurd, but I think, I think my, <laughs> my best love experience was when I was somewhere, I think, what, 16? Oh, 16. Wow. Young and fresh. I said it might sound absurd, oh. but listen, I'm it's what? Sweet, actually. I'm in my 30s now. When yeah. I look back, I still think that's like the, the best love experience I've had in my entire life. Okay, tell us about it. So I had a crush on this fine guy who mm. used to live in my neighborhood. Mm. So fine. Like, you know, and then, <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know all the adrenaline when you're 16 yes. and you see this guy walking by with his basketball bouncing. I mean, hey. like, <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what. So I went to senior high you know? school and he, he, and he made the basketball team. Okay. So when we go from like school to go and watch them, right? Mm -hmm. I just look at his shoes, his basketball shoes. He had these unique shoes. It was yellow. Okay. And it was a Jordan. So when I go, I just look out for him on the court. And he's listen. A BM oh, he is. He is. And so is she. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I had a crush on him. I tell you what. I had to eventually, I think it took a year for me to be able to tell him that, listen. I went to him and I told him, listen, this is what it is. I've oh, had a wow. crush on you for about a year. Okay. And the funny thing is his dad and my dad were friends. Ah. But we just didn't know each other like that. Yeah. And I think that was like the toughest thing I had to do at that age. Yeah. Go up to walk up to a guy and tell him that You're listen. You're brave. What I you it? you. He said, So you know what I wooed him with? I said, Oh, don't worry, I know your dad. Your dad da, 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 and my dad. Da, da, da. Okay. And he's like, Oh, okay. And then he, and then I remember that day he walked me home. Mm. Hey. I walked him back home. He hey. walked me back home. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of three nights course. You, you know, had, you had the line. No, you had the line. <laughs> no, and the, and there was no three time we sleep then. on the phone. Yeah, yeah. actually, yeah. <laughs> so that's what happened. And um, eventually we started dating. Oh. And yes, we Shoot have a child shots. together. So. Oh. That's my first love. Wow. True love. Huh. Mm -hmm. Look at that. <laughs> At 16. <laughs> I didn't know she said she had, she had 16. A, yeah, she has a baby with him. You have a baby with yeah, him. I yeah, do. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. And I had my baby with him at 19. So you can imagine how deep the love was. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, that's a really sweet story. Yeah. You? <laughs> okay, me. So, yeah. I think my best love experience, I was in university. Mm. And so um, I dated this guy. Um, he was also a dad and then peace child that I was quite but then I, I was used to, it was say the ss so we did it like from ss into uni and it was the ss kind of relationship that you know so after that i met this other guy and he was older and he hits me with the old guys kind of love mm. he wasn't like older like 10 years old but then he was 
older mm. and so he would come he would call me he would actually like arrange call me hey i want to take you to lunch and actually like pull up and you know yes. i have to get dressed okay. and, you know say i'm going to lunch and then he wait for me and i'll walk to the car and then say oh you look nice i'm like oh thank you and then like we would take pictures in the car and like we'll go and have lunch we'll spend the whole day together we used to go to the beach you know the other one was like school school mm -hmm. oh come over mm -hmm. go over you watch movies mm -hmm. You eat, you make Indomie, and but that other one was like a step up from what I yeah, knew, yeah, yeah. and it was like yeah, the kind of love that you used to see in the movies, mm -hmm. you know. And at the point we started working together, cause like our jobs sort of worked together. So I was like, I know who you're talking oh, about. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> we are not mentioning names. I know who you're talking about. <laughs> And so, and so he was a photographer. And oh, I, did, I, I knew that I knew it. <laughs> and I'm a makeup artist. So then, yeah, I used to like do yeah, makeup. Yeah, but he's really hot. He still is kind of yeah, hot. Really yeah, he's really hot. Yeah. Yeah, he is. He's yeah. a handsome man. And yeah. so, yeah, I'll do makeup. He would take pictures. And, like, at the end of the day, um, you know, we'll talk about work. You know, he's editing. I'm like, so he did this and he did this. You know, so it was really, it was... It, it was easy. Yeah, it was yeah. easy. It was functional. It was productive, and it was sweet. So yeah, I think that was my best love experience. And I think that guy's a really cool guy. Like he is. The two of you look really cute together. Yeah. Still okay. do. Still look cute together. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Just no. saying. Yeah. Still look cute together. Yeah. Yeah. So we've all moved on. Oh, and the, the, you know the great thing. <laughs> the reason why I say that is my best love experience. That the great thing is we've all moved on. He's in a sweet relationship with a girl I actually like. Oh. They have a very healthy oh, relationship. With a girl you actually like? Yes, I actually oh, like her. I've sweet. met her. And I have moved on. I have a baby with somebody else. But we still have such a good working relationship. And it's amazing. Oh, like, that's yeah, he's, if I need anything, I call Nini. He's always there for me. Okay, John take that again. Without saying Nini. So yeah, we have a very the great thing is we have a very great working relationship. So if I need anything, I call this particular guy. He's always there for me. Yeah. If I need to take pictures, anything, I need to design anything. And if he needs makeup for anything, any project He'll he's call working, you. he calls me. Yeah, and there's that respect. Mm -hmm. okay. yes, but so. you know the good thing about good love is that even when it's over, you're yes. still able to have a healthy relationship. Yes. A healthy you have that relationship. friendship. Yes. Yes. So there's yeah. a bond. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm like all True. this toxic relationship that yes. ends. And then you don't even hear from the person. Yeah, you, you block, block them <laughs> everywhere. You block, block them. Block, block, and block, your family members and your friends because that's how done you are. Anyone who might know anyone who might know them. This might sound really cliche, but I think my husband is the best love I ever had. Aww. And thinking about it, it does sound really cliche, but it's because we really, really never had to try so hard. Yeah. I think I that love story. Yeah, all the way from school. All the way from school. All the way from school. I was walking around campus minding my own business, <laughs> yes. looking for hostel. Wow. <laughs> Actively looking for a hostel to stay in. I've never you heard your love story, so this Oh, is, this is I'm just great. giving you a little bit of it, right? I was looking for a hostel, Charlie. Mm -hmm. Has like when I was in, in uni, my mom my mom used to buy me these sneakers from China. Mm -hmm. So I was <laughs> <laughs> You are so <laughs> fake. You. My China, oh, my China. My China <laughs> shoes. <laughs> you know, my mom used to import shoes from China. So, oh, yeah. Okay. But stop so, trying to be a hustler. You're not. Look, no. you are the one who knows Don't guys that play to. basketball. <laughs> you know, my aim that you, let's not get into it. Where, 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 where exactly are you continue. doing basketball? Yeah, 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 yeah. With Jordans. Real Jordans. You know Jordans. Hey. You, that's you back know, in the day too. You right? know who the hey. diabetes on this table are. So you, let the and rest, that's nah, let the rest of us. See, um, do you know what? Do you know where I'm from? <laughs> but I'm from Gamma Let's okay. We are all the diabetes in our own right. Yeah. Okay. So so back to my China shoes, right? Mm -hmm. And my China phone. The one that you know to turn it off, you have to give it some time. Like you press on the off button, and then you give it some time, and it will do the. And so I was walking down the, uh, you know, some on campus, and I saw this billboard um, signboard that said, "Hostel, hostel, hostel. <laughs> if you want a hostel, call these numbers." Three numbers were listed. One, Malik Adebayo. Two, Kabute Adoduaji. Three. 
Uh, what's the one? So Sofo. I forgot his name. Kabuti started business <laughs> long ago. <laughs> so I called one of the numbers. And then while I was calling, I saw these three guys standing down there somewhere. I saw them looking at me like, <laughs> but you know, I was just doing unlooking, pretending I hadn't yeah, seen them. Yeah. So as I was walking down, you know, the campus, that, that path from the cafeteria to the signboard, yeah. I saw them looking at me, right? Mm -hmm. I just kept walking. Mm -hmm. And then I saw the, the sign that said, hostel, hostel, hostel. So I picked up my phone and I dialed the number and I saw one of the guys pick up the phone. <laughs> Hey. I was like, hello. And, that was your husband. and they responded, hi. I said, please, are you the person who has a hostel deal? He said, yes, we're looking at you right now. Was that your husband you were speaking to? So I walked down. I'm talking. Why are you I'm trying sorry. to interrupt my story? <laughs> so I walked down, to, you know, the path to the, the other side. I was like, hi. So you're Malik? The Malik answered. He said, yes. I said, so you are Kabat. So I thought it was Kabat, right? Wow. Because they had written C-A-B-U-T-T. -T. How do you pronounce that? Kabat. Yeah, Kabat. So I said, you are Kabat. He said, no, Kabute. Kabut. It's like, wow. hi, well, nice to meet you. And that's just how we started, like, yeah. we hit it off. So we were friends for a long time, just, you know, you know, friends, just hanging out, friends, you know, going places, you know. We were in the mix somewhere. Was I? So somewhere in the mix. Of well, course, at some point we tried to convince you to run for a beauty pageant. That's true. Did you ever do it? No, I didn't. You didn't do it, right? No. We tried um, to convince her to run for a beauty pageant around that time, wow. and he then tried to convince me to run for a well, beauty pageant. Well, you are beautiful, so it makes oh, sense. So she are was you. the hottest girl, <laughs> hey. and I did everything I could. And I said, "Please do." She said, "Please, I have a baby. When I close from lectures, I have to go and breastfeed." Aww. But that and was true, though. That was just because I, I didn't like, have any oh help. God. Yeah. 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 And mm. I mean that that you've done amazing. Yeah. You've done she was amazing. like, no. Yeah. After after lectures, I go home because I have to breastfeed, yeah. so I can't mm. do. And like that was where my respect for you just yeah. shut up. I'm a mom, yeah. so I respect that. Yeah. 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 yeah, Well Good done. Time. Good Thank time. you. <laughs> anyway, so that was when love was, you know, nice yes. and sweet, and yes. you didn't have to DM for prizes. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> We're going to talk about love nowadays and how it is, Charlie. How is it nowadays? You're watching We Got This Africa and I'm hanging out with my friends Ashaki and Alma. Stay tuned. To have a hearty, healthy family. Phytol Sunflower Cooking Oil. Also cholesterol free for tasty, healthy meals. Love your food, love your life. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Finding love nowadays in this age of technology and how we are able to package on social media we are sometimes not close to what we do on social media can be tough so today i'm discussing love with my friends who are both very um kind and cool girls Aww, and, how kind. you know and i wonder like how are you guys doing it nowadays sometimes i just thank god i don't have to deal with that Wow. Like, cause, cause because you're married. Because, you know. And that uh, would mean that you're actually happy in your marriage, and that's a great thing. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. Because I think about, okay, so what if you were looking for a nice guy nowadays? Where do you go? Like, would, yeah. What, how do you find guys nowadays? Tell me. Where are they? Like, how do you find love now? How do you meet guys nowadays? Well, I'm not, currently, I'm not looking for love or anything. Of Why? That I'm just a firm believer that it can happen anytime. Just like how. You know, you found your husband walk on a walking, billboard. Right. Yes, on yeah. a billboard. So 
<laughs> I don't think that you should actually like try to force love. Sometimes mm -hmm. you're just minding your own, own business. business. Then boom, it, it happens. Up, yeah. But you're such a lover of love. Like you just love. Yes, like, I, so love love. I love love. I love love. I love, love. I love so the much. feeling. Yeah, so. I love loving people. I love couples who love each other. Yeah. Yeah, I cry at weddings all the time, and I may not even like know them. I just see them dancing and I start crying. I just love love. I thought it was all about love, but <laughs> you, you. yes, <laughs> you know, it's, it's not all about love. I am. Well, not necessarily for me. I'm not. I'm not going around looking for love, really, because exactly. there's a lot of fake people around. Exactly. Now. I know. And, I, and it's tell scary. you what, if you're a guy and you DM me, or you send me a message via social media and say hi, pretty. Do you know my response? Yeah. Sometimes I feel like I'm being too uptight, but I, it, it gets me upset. Hi, pretty. My response is, can't you see my name? Like you can exactly. hi Amma. Don't start with hi. I feel it's so disrespectful. Yeah. Okay. You know, I somebody else might think, oh, it's a compliment. Mm -hmm. I'm past sixteen. No compliment anymore. Because you just seen my picture on social media. I probably just posted something. Mm -hmm. You don't know me. Hi, mm -hmm. pretty. Mm -hmm. There's more to me than pretty. Exactly. That's how I feel. Yeah, but he what can't she see said. He can't say hi intelligent. No, no, but her <laughs> name is there. <laughs> That's a good one. No, I'm saying Katie. <laughs> Okay. Don't approach me like that. I mean, for that. the first for time. For the very first time. I don't know you. You don't know okay. me. Okay. I, I, I don't take it. I don't take it like And she's not portraying... I don't think she's portraying herself as a slay queen on Instagram. No. I mean, if it was a slay queen... Exactly. No, no offense to slay queens if you are taking it, pictures for <laughs> profession. It's okay. But, like, that, she's not like a model that you say... You know, hey, exactly. beautiful. Yeah. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I think it's I understand nice what for she's a man saying. to say you're beautiful. I mean, if he came and say hi, sexy lady. Or, oh, ooh, yeah, you get that too. I like how me. round your body's looking. I don't know. But <laughs> if he says hi, beautiful. That's right? just, I'm not going to respond. I'm just going to block you. Oh. I, I like how your body. Are you serious? <laughs> Yeah. Do you know how people are looking for compliments out there? Like, not me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, 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 social media love can be had too. Like, yeah. you know, there are many people who actually find their husbands on social. Yeah, I find it so hard to believe, but I guess it's, it happens. But the people on social media are just you and I. They're I know, and and not people. not as uptight as me because I I don't think I'll ever find love on social media. Hmm. No, I don't think you should. Your husband is watching. <laughs> You know, like you have to watch somebody like, you slides in your DM, DM and then, you know, they are very courteous. They say, they have a very, you seem like a formal person. They have a very formal I, introduction. I and then, I think I am. Slow by slow, slow by slow, they break down your walls no, and then it happens can't. for you. I don't you, think you, you can't should restrict yourself. You, you, you can't do that. You, you can't do that. Hey, yeah. <laughs> you you no. will find husband on social media. I'm going to add this to my prayer topic. Yes. You'll find well, out maybe we should, we should have the show again so I can come and explain my, my how I how found my husband on the hopeless place. Testimony time. <laughs> I know, right? But a lot of people find love on social media. Yeah, a lot of people happens. look for love on social media. You know, in them days, we used to look for love in church. Yeah. The choir, the choir is this. I think it still happens. Oh, oh no. People really? have the does? Notion, well, I'm always in church, so I feel like people have the notion that... You know, if you want a good girl or mm -hmm. a good man, you have to come to church. And then they forget that the church is actually for sick people. Sick people, in quote-unquote, like, if you come to church, we are not perfect people. Right. We are just very flawed people looking for God. So right. a lot of people in church actually have a lot of issues, and God is still working on them. So, yeah, that's something that So if you come to church, you should know you that. You shouldn't be guaranteed that you're going to find the perfect person. Sometimes... You find people in church who are better than I kind of feel people know that. <laughs> this is what people think. That you find good people. Bad in church. Yeah. So they just boys. show oh up in God. church. Yeah. So they can look for whoever in church. Yeah. So not necessarily because they want to Some of to the baddest church. people are in church. What are you saying? Of course. <laughs> yes. That's what I'm saying. Of course. <laughs> okay, so where do you go if you want to meet a nice guy? I've been asked this question That's a many tough times. One. Like, where do you find nice, nice guys in Accra? You That's know? a tough one. Where do you go? I think it just happens. I don't think there's a particular location. That so I used to feel that way until a friend of mine told me that now, if you're looking for a man, mm -hmm. you can't sit in your house or continue to I was to just your about to say and that. that definitely that your hand, home. Your, your Prince Chami will come to your house and say, I have come. True, absolutely. You have to. I don't oh, I'll, the only person you're somewhere. going to be finding is the garbage collector. Because they come to your house. Because they come And he might be cute and you might like him, you know. No, no, oh, please. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. I mean, I don't want to no. sound like I'm being <laughs> no. no, no, but not the garbage collector. No, uh, don't say that. Not the, maybe the owner of Zoom Lion, but not the garbage oh, collector. Oh, my gosh. <laughs>
you never know. You never know. Obi nim obre po asha se. Eh, ya fe ne be sha se. You don't like them, they know. I mean, not regionalize. You are not. But 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 really, have you been in a relationship that money has you know broken up? Yeah. Like money problems. Yeah. Tell us about it. Yeah. So yeah, I was in a relationship with a guy. Um, this one was a toxic one. And yeah, we just, both of us just didn't have very good spending habits. So yeah, we didn't save. And yeah, we would blow our money together. And then at the end of the day, we'll just look at each other and we'll be very sad. <laughs> so we just, we just, we just realized that, this okay, so you. you can't call me out. I can't call you out. We just get caught up in a moment. So yeah, it's not going to work. So yeah, that was oh. it. But it was very, very you know, adventurous. Actually, a lot of people who break up because of money is because one is stingy. <laughs> Not that they are spending the money, but they, 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 they Oh, okay. Too, so this one was a different stingy. one. So then we we'll actually... actually sounds fun. I yeah. Don't know so we actually have good plans. Like, okay, so we'll do this. You know, we'll buy this. We'll do this. We'll do this. And then the money comes and we are just like... like we go into a trance. Like, okay, let's blow it. <laughs> <laughs> I, sounds like a nice yeah experience. That, it sounds like a, a, a fun relationship yeah it was but then a relationship you should have in your 20s yes it was in my 20s yeah so. <laughs> yeah yeah in the 20s you know say but spend the money too yeah i wish i knew that when i was 20. you're good you're fine i was saving money and now i think of all the fun things i could have done yeah but you still you can do you it you know i was saying this yesterday that i have a feeling that i really should stop saying Ah, I should have done you this. See, yeah, let, let because the mommy part just take over you. Because I'll be forty and I'm going to think, ah, when I was thirty, I, I could have done all of these yeah, things. Yeah, so it's a good time. It's so, actually a great time. Look to at how hot you the are. Good, you know, like so, that's <laughs> buddy. Oh, it's a conversation for another day. I okay, <laughs> let's have it. <laughs> <laughs> so the time is as good as now to do anything that yes, you want to yes, do. Yes, definitely. So, 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 so it's good. But you know, when you talk about having relationships nowadays, we're very tempted to think that you know it's going to be hard. It's going to be tough and so yeah, on yeah. but is that really the case is it possible and easy to love and find good people nowadays i think that it starts to find love you have to love yourself mm -hmm. because you have to know yourself you have to love yourself you have to know the things that take you off the things that actually bring you fulfillment mm -hmm. right. then once you are you know in alignment with that you can find and attract the people that are actually good for you in the spirit of finding and you know attracting the people that are good for us what are the things you like and the things that are good for you? <clears throat> so first of all, obviously, like I said, the faith is a very big issue. But apart from that, I really like somebody that I have a connection with. Mm. Somebody that I don't have to perform to be loved. Go out of your way. Yeah, like, yeah. So I have to be very comfortable. We can just sit and not say a word and we're good. You know, I don't have to do too much. You just right. love me for me and my being. So yeah that connection and somebody that looks good because i should look at you and thank god for his good creation like <laughs> <laughs> i'm not even yeah high That's five true. yeah high <laughs> five like yeah. i'm not saying be like a you know six do you understand but then like six pack and everything but mm -hmm. you should look good i should look at you and think oh my god you're okay. you're good to you look know at when she says that she reminds me of my first love. Okay. Because he was I good used to look them at. after him. I just used them as like yardstick. a yardstick for wow. everyone else. Okay. Listen, you've got to be tall. You've got to be dark. You've got to have large eyes. You've got to have large red eyes. lips. Oh red yeah, yeah. Lips. yeah. Okay. Let me tell you about large <laughs> eyes. Okay. Okay. When they look at you. So oh. Yes. Okay. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. So so when you when you have a very good looking guy, you start imagining how good looking your kids are going to be. Yes. And the but jeans now, I'll of tell the you person. the thing about that. If you've uh -oh. noticed a lot, when fine two very fine fights. people come together. Sometimes it goes off. Oh my goodness. And Sometimes you can see a couple with their kids and like, oh fine. Oh just I'm so my way. And then you look at the kids and like oh, <laughs> oh, mm. so I tell you. Why does that happen? I have no <laughs> idea. Like, but you see you see you see a fine one of you them fine. Like one of them like <laughs> all children are pretty. We don't call children to their parents. Oh Lord. <laughs> Oh Lord, it's you're true. mean. <laughs> you know, I, I I have seen some children who do look nothing like their parents. Yeah. But and 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 sometimes you know that the child looks like somebody else in the family. But right. you know what? Children that don't look so cute when they're young grow I up to be very cute. I think there's a backstory to that. Some looks like somebody in their family. 
No, yeah, no, 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 that's what oh, I mean. Okay, okay. But sometimes it look like, you know, sometimes they're like great, great sure. brothers. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. But children that don't look so them. cute when they're young, they sometimes they end up cute. growing up to be very it's nice. I've seen a lot you know those that. are friends in JHS who are the finest girls in the no, class. No, no, I Nowadays, you will meet someone. But some people maintain... My niece, my niece was born. My niece was born with no hair. She was practically bald. Oh, and, I know a story of no hair. <laughs> and if you see her today, and you look at her, her, her baby picture, like it's direct opposite. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Yeah. You're right. So, 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 so. Speaking of finding a very hot guy, mm -hmm. you might play two six and lost. You might find a very cute guy, and if it's because you want your kids to have and the best genes, and you see, but that notion about like looking that like somebody notion in your about family. now, I think I've changed that. I'm I'm looking for somebody who is matured, yeah. okay. somebody that understands me. I have two kids. You don't want to go in for somebody who is saying, "Yo, it's Friday night, let's go and club." What's wrong with that? Uh, I, well, every weekend, there's a problem with that. Okay, yeah. because. I have things to think about. I have kids to look after. Yeah. I'd rather can we save that said. money okay. once a while? We can go out of town. Yeah. We yeah. can do. But um, listen, I've clubbed. I, I, I've clubbed like Thank the you. whole my yeah. whole life. Thank it's been you. There that I mean, there's so much like me. Every, look, I used to club Friday, you Saturday, might be my Friday. I, I tell you, I, I used I to, to start that. on Thursday huh. and retire on Monday. I tell you, okay. yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So I've been there and done that. So I'm looking for somebody who is like somebody who is there for me. Everything not necessarily. She's well, I will look at your looks, but not entirely. That's yeah. not the whole point. No, of it. Yeah. I'm looking at. But you should like, like I'm saying, like I don't have to look at you and despise you. Right. Do you you don't look at somebody you love and despise them. So that Tell you I, what. I guess what I'm trying you to say, that I should be attracted to yeah. that person. Attract, yeah. Attraction, yeah. Yeah. yeah, attraction goes a long way. Yeah. If I'm not attracted to you, but it won't you work. know yeah. that you might find someone who you're not instantly attracted to right but then they're kind you know they're christian the way you'd like them to oh, be christian yeah. they love your kid yes. they're stable yes. they're mature yeah. you just find that you, you fall in love with their personality and the way they are as time mm -hmm. goes and on. as okay. time goes on they look pretty to you absolutely. like it just absolutely you look so at them and you like yeah. i've been there before you've been full like of that appreciation before. for who they yeah, are and definitely. how they love you and yeah. then yeah. you know other people might look at the two of you and say what has she seen in him exactly yeah, but, but you'll be absolutely you know, happy yeah, and, happens, you know over the moon. well looking for love nowadays can be tough but hey there's so many good guys out there right yeah right yeah. if you're a good guy and you're watching please comment i you're watching <laughs> <laughs> we got this africa we'll be right back have a hearty, healthy family. Phytol Sunflower Cooking Oil. Also cholesterol-free for tasty, healthy meals. Love your food, love your life. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. You're watching We Got This Africa, our episode on love. <laughs> Finding love in this age and especially in your 30s. Oh so what's the real hard thing, um, ladies? Like, what is the real hard thing when you think, hmm, finding someone to be with maybe for the rest of my life right now will be hard because? I, th I think uh, um, with me, I feel like people get attracted to me because of my figure. Okay. Number one. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. <laughs> because you're hot. <laughs> but, but that's the truth. Um, they see you and then they fall in love with the outer you. You know, and sometimes it's hard. I tell them that, listen, I have two kids. And that's even like 
listen like you have two kids i i i need i need to date you you're not you're not okay. you don't want to date me because i am me you want to date me because you you've seen you this like mother <laughs> <laughs> you've seen a mother of two who has such a great figure i was thinking that i did not mean to say it <laughs> oh. okay so it, it, it usually doesn't end up so well all right you know for me and 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 i think guys don't know what they well some guys don't know what they want mm -hmm. you know they just go out for anything they are not they don't have criteria. it's just look i've seen this girl and i like it what are you looking out for in that person mm -hmm. what what's i think they look at today like there then what we can do together it's not because i'm a mother if i'm going to be with somebody i'm looking at first of all whether my children can bond with you thank you secondly I'm looking at whether this relationship, I'm not, I, I'm not, I've passed the stage of just getting into a relationship for yeah. the fun of it. So I think it's difficult, especially when you're a mother, mm -hmm. because then your criteria and your whole idea of wanting to get into a relationship with somebody totally changes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you don't have a lot of men out there who understand these things, mm -hmm. you know. And for somebody who has two kids, you're looking at, you, you're probably looking towards somebody who is matured. Most matured men are probably either going to be married or they are going to be just having fun around. They are not married yet at a certain age, so mm -hmm. they don't really want to settle down. Mm -hmm. Would you like to date a younger guy? I've tried it before, and honestly, it didn't work for me. And my auntie told me something once. She said, listen, you've always been a daddy's girl. Mm -hmm. And so they think I look, I look for someone who has my dad's, like, so I look, I, I always look out for somebody who has this, mature you can be young but there has to be some sort of maturity, maturity. with you yeah. i need to be able to discuss stuff with you whilst you are the young guys is like charlie what's the next shoe i'm gonna buy charlie yeah. where's the next next place we are gonna hang out no i want to be having conversations <laughs> like where are we taking the kids you know yeah. can, can we go on a vacation with the kids it has to be involved them it, it can't just be you and i because i have kids yeah yeah but don't you think it's uh, it'd be much too much to ask someone who i don't know but i feel that sometimes as moms mm -hmm. we are a little too um we make our, our, all of our lives about the kids and if you're trying to bring somebody else in sometimes you need to make it about the two of you uh, not you necessarily know? i'll no. tell you why no. because i believe what you start with the person has that in mind that mm. you are starting off without your kids. We might as well just go on without your kids. Yeah. Mm. So once you come in, I need to let you know that this is it. This is it. Of course, there'll be times so I, I, I want to go on a vacation where it's just you and I. Yeah. We wake up the next morning yeah. and mm -hmm. we have breakfast in bed. And it's yeah. like, Mommy, the Mommy, yeah. Mommy. No, of course not. There's definitely going to be you and yeah. I time. But it can't be just you and I all the time. All the time. That's mm -hmm. what I mean. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But do you find? Do you think that it, it'll be hard for a man who has no kids, mm -hmm. who's coming into a relationship with you, who has kids, and I, I don't know. Do we need to just cut them some slack because they don't get it yet? I think I don't really. Uh, this conversation can go so many ways mm -hmm. but i feel like first of all it comes down to maturity and what a man wants right. if a man wants to date you and they know you have a kid and they're serious about you it's not going to stop them at all do you understand yeah. but for me on my part it's really my child is a part of me she's not going anywhere right. Jonas I'm responsible for this little human who depends on me for everything and if you're going to be a part of me it means you're going to be a part, part of, of my me. child's right. life and so right from the get-go if there's if I sense anything is not right between you know you and my child or how you get along with a child it's a deal breaker for mm -hmm. me and it's mm -hmm. rather sad Jonas right. but it's something that I cannot compromise right yeah, you have to. So let me tell you this fun story. Somebody sort of um, was like, okay, so she gave my number out, my friend, to a guy. And then she was like, oh, I think you guys would be great because you're both the same age. He's a good Christian and this and that. So just chat. And so we're chatting and for he knows I have a baby, right? It's my DP. The first thing you see when you start messaging me. 
But for 24 hours since we started chatting, he mm. hasn't mentioned anything about my kids. So I messaged my friend. I was like, you know what? This is not the one because <laughs> my child is there in my DP. But he still hasn't said, hey. And that was a deal breaker for me. And it oh, seems yeah. a bit critical, but that is me. Why didn't you mention your child? No, but he knows I have a child. It's in my DP. Maybe he doesn't know she's your child. No, but my friend told him. Okay. Do but you maybe he thinks it's private. I don't know. How is it private? If you're no, maybe he thinks, you know, you don't talk about someone else's daughter. How? Don't you I talk don't about know. Oh, is that your this child is, in is, your DP? This is someone she you is want very to have cute. a conversation a with. How do you know? Honey. Speak? No. Moms nowadays, and it's for good reason, are very critical of men who want to comment about their daughters because the world is a scary place. No. So if I were a man right now, I'd probably be very careful talking about somebody's so daughter and calling her beautiful because no, you never know where no. that's okay i understand where you're coming from but here's the back story okay okay There's so my friend story. yeah my friend has told this guy a little something about me mm -hmm. and told me a little something about him right okay so you're messaging me you know what it is right do you understand it's not like you're some stranger you're coming to comment about my child i agree with him yes okay. so then for 24 hours Okay. Out of acts. You're yeah, talking oh, about every other child. thing and asking, yeah, 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 you're asking else? every other question, but like my child you know, never pops okay. in. Do you understand? Right. So this is somebody that... He has that no interest. Has right. no interest in Whatsoever. that. Whatsoever. Yeah. yeah. It's and so from it's the a, yeah. yeah. It's a deal breaker for Whitney me. Whitney has always said that... Whitney is a friend of mine. Um, uh, you might know her on social media. Yeah. Whitney watching my son. She always says that when you meet a man, mm -hmm. even if you don't have kids, like this is for all girls. When you meet a man, you should be interested in a man who loves children, mm -hmm. wants and loves children, mm -hmm. and not a man who can tolerate and handle yeah. children. Yeah. You know when you said... He must love kids. and w That's if you want to have children. Because yeah. that, that can be a deal breaker. Yeah. He, he has no interest at all in us. Of course, you know when you said, we should, when, when you were asking whether we should cut men who don't have kids, I'm slack. Mm -hmm. You know, now, if I come into your life and I see you don't treat your kids or you don't treat your child well, I might as well just continue that way. Or you don't have, you don't give your child attention. I would, I would that's go the, with the so flow. There, that's, there. that's what you also learn. Exactly. Yeah. And how do you blame someone like that? Because even you, you don't make your child or your children priority. Yeah. And my children are absolutely like my number one Thank priority. Thank you. What she said. Whether I can, I don't mind being single because a man doesn't want to be with me and my kids. Hey, my kids are forever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. Boy Men can go. Yeah. <laughs> you can even get married and still get divorced. This is like, <laughs> so I don't know if it was in a film. Like, uh, boyfriends come and go, husbands die, but girlfriends are forever. Wow. I think it's a sad statement, but <laughs> I think it's a sad statement. But when you have children and mm -hmm. you're trying to date, mm -hmm. that's something you should keep in mind that your children are forever. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So if a boy is going to be coming in and has an issue, yeah. boy like loves bye. him and he's the yeah. best, handsomest, <laughs> nicest coolest guy yeah and he has pr a problem with your kids better to let him go yeah. but it's because it's a yeah. problem that you don't want to you don't want yeah. to you know marry someone and then five years into the marriage when like your whole they want life to shift is your kids up to boarding school so because like she said you know they always give red flags <laughs> yeah so why flags, you, you've yeah. really you'd really got it. to pay attention you'd to it. It. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you'd see it you see it you see it charlie but can we just agree that for both parties, mm -hmm. it's not easy. It's not it's easy. Not. Yeah. It's for not. both parties. It's, I think we're just talking about yeah. we who Yay. have kids. And, I mean, it's true. We're, we're trying yeah. to be... But, for of course, parties, I, I, I'm not easy. a man who, who, who hasn't had a child, so I can't speak for him. But I'm saying that, yes, you, you, in as much as we should, we should um, talk about ourselves, we should also try and put them, ourselves in their shoes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it won't be easy. Imagine you're a woman, you haven't had a child, mm -hmm. and you are going to date a guy who has a child. Yeah, let's talk about that. And you know some you children yeah. can be very irritating. Yes. yes. You know, they, they can, can tell you, little demons. I don't like you. Daddy, I don't like it. <laughs> what yeah. would you do? I'll die. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll die. But I think but that children sense vibe. Yeah. Yeah. They children do. can just sense it. Mm -hmm. If you are mean person pretending to be nice, yeah. a child will see it. Yeah. <laughs> and they would not be nice to you. And because they'll call it out. Exactly. It because they, they can feel the vibe. It's true. They know when a person is good. Like, even even dogs are able to do that. So yeah. this yeah. was about to say, not a good person. Even like with us, once you can sense, you know that this person is good, mm -hmm. then I think you can, you know, sort of slowly ease them into your the life and life. what you expect of them, like your expectation and right. your realities and stuff. So, but then the first connection there has to be there. Definitely. Yes, it has to be. 
Mm. Connection, connection. Connection, so, connection, very so, important. So, so if, if um, I don't know, if um, we, we, we met a very nice guy today and we liked him, mm -hmm. like in today's ICT world and mm -hmm. technology mm -hmm. and dating mm -hmm. and apps and posting my picture, why didn't you post my picture mm -hmm. kind of situation. If you met yeah. a guy today mm -hmm. and you liked him, mm -hmm. tell me how it will flow. Like, what, what will your relationship be like now? Okay. You know, so for me, mm -hmm. I'll tell you what. Yeah. I'm not, I've never posted any picture of any any person I've dated on social media. It's just me. I'm just mm -hmm. private like that. Yeah. Even if I, I don't post pictures of my kids. Well, mm -hmm. when is their birthdays? I do. But mm -hmm. aside that, you don't see me posting pictures of my kids. Yeah. Me and my And group. I feel, yeah. And I feel like um, it's a relationship between you and I. Mm -hmm. It's not, it doesn't have to be out there. Mm -hmm. Because now, whether, listen, there are men who post their wives or girlfriends every single day. Do you know what they do? Mm -hmm. And the other girls, they, they know they have other girls who understand them. Yeah. So it's not like a deal breaker for me to say that if you don't post my picture. No, because mm -hmm. I, I won't post your picture. Mm -hmm. So if you don't post my picture, I'm fine. But what I will not tolerate on social media about a guy I'm dating is if I see you posting and the other girls or commenting, hot, sexy, That's just straight chick, disrespectful. Real chick. <laughs> I won't tolerate that. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's because disrespectful. That's disrespectful because I won't go under any guy's picture to go and comment, oh, you're hot. Oh, I won't do that. Once you start using those words, what do you want me to think about you? Mm. It means you find those girls attractive. You might yeah. as well go on and be with them because mm. someone else finds me attractive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what if guys are commenting under your picture and saying, Sexy girl. Why I, you I have, ignore. Why I, you have a man. I ignore or I delete. Okay. But, but you know, but a guy should be happy to know that other guys actually find the woman they are eyeing nice and sexy. But if you don't know me, come and come in sexy. Yeah, but I, <laughs> I think guys. Well, I don't. I, I, I will delete your your comment. No oh, guy I will, wants I will something that no nobody man wants. wants. Yes, <laughs> it's true. Yeah, yeah. So so if you met a guy today, you liked him. Like mm -hmm. what what what's how will your relationship function in your mind's eye now? How will it function? Okay, so if I met a guy today, uh, we would just flow. We would just flow. I mean, once what's up? No, 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 no. I don't know. So I don't want to meet a guy and then we'll be chatting, chatting, chatting. And you meet, finally meet, and then the vibe is off. Because mostly when you're chatting, it's sort of you're a different person. Mm. Not like a different person, but it's like... You can I need have a witness on here. That you yeah, can't have exactly. But then you meet yeah. the person, and you rather they pick their nose or they do this or they 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 have bad breath. They, they have bad. Breath. Oh they, have bad they don't smell good or you know they're just dirty. You or they just have. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I laugh like that, so they better do it. That's not how you laugh. I know. That's <laughs> how you, laugh. you guys. So, like I was saying. <laughs> okay. So, like I was saying. Um, yeah, it won't be a social media, social media kind of love because uh, you meet a girl and then all her pictures are flawless because she filters them Filter. and then you meet and her and then. You realize that it's not real, so yeah. definitely if I meet someone, <laughs> we would meet a lot in person yes. because I want to get to know you, yeah. not the image of you that you portray to the world. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And that's that's so real because all of us put out what's best about us on social media. Yeah, there was a time you that know, you posted this meme, not to cut t-shirts. Okay. Yeah, and <laughs> it said that, yeah, because she's always posting stuff on her website. <laughs> it said that um, the reason why you're not dating is because you don't filter your photos. Yeah, exactly. Filter them. <laughs> When you meet them in person, you, you explain. explain. Yes. <laughs> but sometimes I think that the, the, the anxiety of, of not having <laughs> met the person, the anxiety. I, sometimes you've got, to, you've got to try. If you don't try, how do you... Look, I, sometimes you might just chat, keep the, 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 the um, flow over WhatsApp, mm -hmm. messages... And then wait for a bit and meet the person. I Charlie. mean, if I meet you and I don't like you, you I don't have to yeah, yeah. Where's that all your data? Which data? No, no, but I, I won't chat with you for a whole month and then I have a Look, sometimes you. the vibe via messaging WhatsApp. or WhatsApp can be, go can be great. Yeah, and you meet the and person. Then I mean, yeah, so I would have wasted now. my data. Maybe I would have wasted my makeup and my time and everything to my, but that's just See, a friend of mine said she wasn't going to date a guy who she was chatting with on social media because every time he took a picture, it was just from his head. <laughs> <laughs> He only takes pictures. He only <laughs> takes pictures. <laughs> there must be a problem. There must be a problem down there. He probably oh has hips. God. There's nothing wrong 
the it's things like, that we you worry know, some about. Just don't have selfie game. Look, it's it's as if nowadays, if you want to be able to like put yourself out, your pictures must be on point. Right. If your selfie game is poor, you are not getting a girlfriend in this town. Yeah. Like unless you are you physically meeting people, <laughs> because what you put out there is what people judge you by. That's true. And that's why people are also have perfected the art of being fake because you put in like what's, what's best, your best angle. Because yeah. I have a, I have a good side. When yeah. I'm taking pictures, I say take my good side. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. I want. There's to... nothing wrong with that. But now you are exactly. fabulous on your social media. You oh. are fabulous in, in person. person. Say that as again. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you're fabulous on social media okay. and you're fabulous in person. And so if you're portraying something of you out there on social it media, it must be real. Make sure yeah. that when the person meets you, that's what they get or even better. Exactly. Yeah. And you know, there's a flip side. There are people that when you're chatting with them on WhatsApp, yeah. they're very one slow, word. one <laughs> word, but you meet them and, and it's then like it all the feels, right. all the vibes. Right. So there's yeah. that, yeah. yeah. So your social media must 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 match your personality yeah but if you can't charlie when you meet them you explain <laughs> yeah like, explain, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like me if you can't like <laughs> yeah, yeah. i don't post anything when you meet them be like you know i know my social media is so far but you know i'm yeah, trying i'm trying <laughs> you must I'm, succeed in this I'm, life yeah you have to fate it so you, you make, make it, it. <laughs> but not so. in the area of love mm. yeah. it can be hard but charlie how for do yeah. may we find love love <laughs> continue to have the love we have and find the ones we need. <laughs> and Charlie, it go be. It go be. We got one this. Day, one day, we, we got, got this. this. Most, most one day, most. one day, girls go blow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode on Love on We Got This Africa. I've been chatting with Ashaki and Ama. If you're looking for love, you can comment under today's Hi. video. And Hi. the special someone just might be there. Yeah. My name is Nash Shako. It's been great hanging with you. Although it's far, make you not give up. It only makes us stronger. Whatever you do, do them well, make you no worry. We go stay okay, we go be alright, no. Inyami, go chichino, inyami, bano fe, inyami, go konjano, kenya fe, oh bano fe, inyami, go chichino, inyami, bano fe, inyami, go konjano, kenya fe. We got this Africa, proudly brought to you by Frytol. Frytol, you deserve to be well.